Well, g'day everyone. Today I'm gonna to be talking to you about a lens that Seven Artisans sent me. Uh, I think that's how you pronounce it, I always get confused. Uh, it's actually a really nice wide angle lens. It's a Cine lens and I love using these. They're really fun to use particularly for repeatability and things like that with focusing, and I'll talk about that a bit later. Um, this is a 12 millimeter though, T2.9 lens. So it's a very nice, fast lens that you can stick on uh, to your APS-C cameras, or in fact, use on full frame. And that's what I'm gonna show you today. It's gonna be on a full frame camera due to the fact that i have uh, using my um, APS-C camera to film me right now. Again, you can use it in APS-C and it just has to be in APS-C mode on your camera. I think it goes up to about 18 mil or something like that uh, on, a, on a full frame. Uh, so what I'll do first is I'll show you the lens itself. So I've taken it out. The only thing really you get in the package is some little uh, adapters here and I'll show what these are used for later. They're actually used for repeatability if you're rack focusing, but I've got this amazing built lens. It's, it's quite solid and I'll tell you about the specs a little bit later but it is a very, very solid lens. Uh, it does have an 82 millimeter filter thread on this side, so if you wanted to use a filter, an ND filter, you would need an 82 millimeter one. I'll just screw that in so you can see how that looks. That's how I did the filming that I did the other day with it. Um, I used this filter on it, so as long as you have something like that or larger, uh, you'd be fine. Build quality is terrific, it's, it's all metal. Um, has really nice grips on these focusing, and I'll show you how that's uh, an advantage a little bit later when we're looking at it. It does also have, if you're looking here, a declicked aperture. Now the aperture goes from f2.9 to f16, and then you have your focusing ring on this side. Now you do have indicators, uh, and it will also give you measurements in meters and also feet too. So if you do want to use measurements to get your focusing, you can do it that way too. I tend to just use focus peaking, or I will be using an external monitor, something like that. But the results I've got from this are really quite good. Now before we go any further, let me just show you a little bit about this on the website. So this is the lens here. You can see it's a 12 millimeter uh, T, 2.9 and it is an APS-C manual focus cine lens. It's just saying that it's a 2.9 large aperture, it's got ED glass and it has a 270 degree focus throw as well. Let's keep going down and I'll show you a little bit more. You can also see on this looking here that you can see there is your focus ring and this is your aperture ring here. Like I said, it is uh, de-clicked, which is great too. Um, it is a great wide angle lens and that's one thing that is sometimes lacking, particularly cine lenses or you have to pay an awful lot for them. So the focus itself is really smooth. I, I did enjoy using it. There's a, just a nice little bit of resistance there as well and it's very, very easy to get uh, spot on focus. Uh, the bokeh is nice. Uh, it, it does, because it's 2.9, you can throw the background out too, which is quite nice. Although it is a very, very wide lens, so you would have to get very, very close to the subject to throw something out of focus. But it, it is, uh, gives you quite nice results. The close focusing distance on this camera is 0.14 meter. So I'll show that um, in video as I'm talking here so you can sort of see what it's like at its uh, close focus mode. Color wise, I did find it really nice. The colors that you're seeing as we're talking and uh, I've been putting clips as we're going through this look really quite nice. So the color rendition is really quite good too. Uh, very, very clear markings on the lens itself. Now a little bit about the uh, parameters or the specs of this lens. It is 12 millimeters and it is an APS-C camera. Like I said, you can use it with full frame if you want to use APS-C mode. Uh, the closest focusing distance is 0.14 meters. The aperture is T2.9 to T16. The weight is 602 grams. So there is a little bit of weight there, but it, like I said, it does feel very, very good quality. The diaphragm blades, there's nine pieces. Uh, the filter size is 82 millimeter. Um, the angle of view is 100 degrees and the lens material is metal. Like I said, it's built like a tank. Now, just to show you the other lenses available in this range, see there's a 25 mil one, there's a 35, 1.05, there's a 50 1.05, and then there's the 12 millimeter T2.9. So if you did want to get a nice kit out of this, there's some really nice lenses that you can fit into this. And like I said, it will work with the Sony mount, uh, the Fuji uh, mount as well. It has a micro full thirds mount, RF mount, and the L mount for your Panasonic Sigma uh, cameras, and also Z mount for Nikon as well. Uh, and there's also some sample photos that are here as well. I'll leave this link 
uh, down below so you can have a look at these images that are basically on this. But, you know, I was quite happy. I didn't take any stills. I just did video at this stage just to have a look at what it looked like. Uh, and it was really quite good. So what I'll do now is I'll show you how you can uh, attach it to a camera. Now I've got the A9 here. So there is a red marking on the side of this. That will line up with the white marking on your camera. So if you twist it around, it will go on. So this will give you an idea about the size that this is. Um, it fits nicely actually on the full frame as well. Uh, the, if you put this on APS-C cameras, it is obviously a little bit front heavy, uh, but I did use the gimbal. I used the Moser Air 2 um, when I was shooting the video. Um, but very, very nice. Like I said, it, it's got a great focus. Um, I love the declicked aperture. That's really, really nice for video. It just feels like a nice quality lens. So that's it on a camera. Now, th this obviously is your lens cap. Uh, as well, so it's nice and protected. There is no lens hood as such, so you know you may have flare issues and things like that, or you could use that actually in the shot. Um, I didn't seem to notice much flare problems when I was uh, shooting it, but it was a bit of an overcast day, so um, it'll be interesting to see what it is like in the sun. Uh, the chromatic aberrations of this, I did take some uh, a quick video of some branches against the sky, and it seems to be very, very well controlled. Uh, as well. So what I might do now is I might show you how you can mount this on a little rig and then you can start to get your repeatability which is the best part about having something like this instead of a fly-by-wire type of lens that usually you get with the Sony cameras. So to show you how you can get your repeatability from this I've set it up on a little um, rig here. Now you can see that they'll have these little screws that you can tighten in. That stops it from moving. So what you do is I've now set that on the little Dalek that you can see here. Well, it's just out of the camera, but I'll show you in the frame in a minute. And then I'm going to uh, focus then a little bit further on on a OWC symbol that's in the background. So what you do is you then move to where the OWC shows the focus peaking or the correct focus, and then you tighten this up uh, there as well. Then what you can do is if I press record, I can then rack between these two areas and get repeatability every single time. So that's the advantage of using something like this setup. You can see that it's turning, uh, the cogs will connect through here, and then it's very, very easy to get very, very good focus. Uh, and that's how that works. So you can see here, uh, this is on a rig. Uh, I've just attached the camera down to this uh, on a couple of rails and then you've got your control, focus control through here uh, and these are little lugs that you'll have that um, you can set your focus to be repeating. I mean even if you don't want to use these for uh, say doing focus racking you can tilt this back and then you've got complete control or you know of, of normal focusing through it as well. Much easier to focus this way than it is trying to get your hand around and focus from the lens. So these are really nice systems. So what do I think about it? Well, for the price, I think it's great. If you're dealing with something that is only just over $300, that's US, uh, I think it's a terrific lens to have in your arsenal, particularly if you want to get into some cine lenses. Uh, it's, it's very, very reasonable. Yes, I mean, the quality may not be up there with some of the real high-end lenses, obviously, but you're not paying those sort of uh, costs. So uh, I think it's great for what it is. So if you did want to get into, say, using cinema lenses for things like the focus, uh, you know, the racking and things like that, or just to have a different look, sometimes uh, using a cinema lens is really nice. You, you really get involved in the shoot, and that's what I like using it as well. I did a dancer shoot not long ago, which was all uh, using cine lenses and I actually had a ball. Focus I found is not an issue. I, I just use basically focus peaking or you would use a monitor. I use a Ninja uh, connected to these, so it's it's never an issue for me to get focus. Um, I use the 82 uh, millimeter ND on this as well, which gave me nice results. The image is, I think, look great. Uh, they're, reason, you know, I mean, reasonably sharp, no complaints there. There is some distortion there, um, you can see that when we look at this brick wall now, I'll just show you against these bricks, there is a little bit of distortion, but you know, for the, for the actual width of this lens, what it's giving you, I think it's very, very well controlled. Uh, apart from that, I mean, really, I've got nothing bad to say about it. For the cost particularly, I, I think it, it's wonderful. Let me know if you have any questions down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, apart from that, thank you so much, Seven Artisans, for sending me this, uh, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now.